welcome back. This is the last video where I'm going to show you how I build my master show template and then how I start building my show um, in Ableton Live. Once more, if you haven't yet subscribed but find these helpful, or even if you don't find them helpful, I'd really appreciate if you would click subscribe. Um, we're trying to get over the 1,000 subscriber mark so we can monetize these videos. So we're going to start with the same template, this lighting design template that we created in the, in the first of these uh, more specific videos. And I just want to mention uh, what I didn't mention before is that when I did save this template, it's these little things that can add up to lots of time later on. I saved it with all of the disclosure triangles on each of the um, template, on each of the tracks uh, open so that I can just start designing. I don't have to click on each of those individual disclosure triangles, which I personally find really helpful. Um, so that's those little things. This, however, is going to be our master show file. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and save it as our master show template. Click save. We don't need the individual lighting tracks, so we'll go ahead and delete those. Okay. And um, you will see, okay, well, now all the lights turned on. But um, if you've got backing tracks or, you know, uh, click track, that sort of thing, um, you'll add those in. I don't care to show you those right now. Um, I just want to show you the lighting. So first thing you need to know is that um, all of the lights basically um, receive the, the automation as relative data meaning um, if the lights are white like this um, and they just come in anything that any information they'll get from these automation lanes will be relative to whatever state that they're currently in so really at the top of your set you really want to um, make sure to calibrate them to put them all i like it, starting at zero every channel and the way you can do that is basically create a, a cl um, clip that uh, goes from 0 to 127 and back to 0 for every single channel. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to, I just want it to be super quick. Uh, so I'm going to change the grid to 132nd. I'm going to get all the way to the beginning. I'm going to get into um, draw mode by hitting B and make sure I'm in the opening lane. I'm just going to go from 0 all the way up to 1. Oh, we want to make sure that DMXS is connected. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So now, very simply, turn draw mode off by hitting B. We're going to highlight, copy, paste. And we're going to highlight again and paste. Oops. And highlight again, copy, and paste. And highlight again. And basically, again, you're just going to do this for every single channel. So this will just take another second. Remember on mine, I've got 72 different channels. I've got eight lights times nine uh, channels that I'm using on each. There we go. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight these. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna highlight them all. I'm gonna do Shift Command M. That creates this clip. I'm gonna hit Command C. Come on over here. Command V, put it in there. Last thing you want to do is you don't want it to loop, otherwise you're going to get a, a strobe effect here. But basically, once again, if you do that, now you'll see um, before you start your show, all of your lights are calibrated. They're all set to go from where you want them to be. Okay, so now let's go ahead and save this. Again, this will just become our master show template. So let's say you're starting your next tour and you want a different song order or you want a different show, you'd start with this master show template. Now we can go to each of our individual um, songs, like here's where your heart is. And great. We're gonna go to that master lighting track. We're gonna start all the way at the beginning. We're gonna grab all of the lanes make sure we go all the way to the end command c we're going to open our master show template we don't want to save and we're going to come here we can 
get rid of that. We don't um, need it anymore. Somehow Ableton still saves that clip though in clip view. Um, so we won't be able to change it later to my knowledge, but, um, but we won't need to anyway, and it's very quick. So we go to that top lane once more, we command V. Now this should have our entire song, terrific. Come up to the top. We're gonna make sure that we start at the beginning, highlight the entire song. Here you can see, oh, I gotta get a little bit further. You can see, oh, still not quite far enough. That looks like it's the end. Everything's back pretty much at zero or wherever I, I like it to start from. And what I will do is I will hit Shift to Command M to create that empty clip, copy, come over here, put it in here, and paste. I'll choose it as a different color just so I know that it's something else. Let's do something light and let's rename it where your heart is. Of course, I'll come over here too and I'll rename it where your heart is. Um, 146 BPM, oops, BPM. Um, and there you go, that's, uh, that's that song. Now, of course, later I'll come in probably and I will uh, adjust it and, and create different clips down here, starting points and end points, and, and mess with the follow actions and that sort of thing um, so that it has exactly the type of control that I want it to have when I'm actually running my show. I'm just going to rename this uh, Light Calibration, uh, for example. Um, and now let's bring in another song. So uh, let's now save this as, um, let's say it's... Uh, May uh, 2019 um, uh, Watnall set, whatever, whatever you're calling it. Okay, good. We can get rid of this clip and we're going to open up another song of ours. Uh, here's one gold, another song. Uh, sure, we'll save it. It's just going to capture the fact that we deleted that. And this song is actually a song that I want to have very sparse uh, lighting changes. I really just want two static scenes and I want to be able to control um, exactly when that second scene happens. So this is another example of something that I could show you. Um, but basically, I'm going to go to my master lighting track. Oh, looks like I hadn't done this one yet. Okay, let's try a different one. Um, I want to be in it. Let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. And you can see that when I saved it, I had already highlighted all of this. So I'm just gonna Command C, and we'll go back and open up the May 2019 Watnall set. That's We Are the Northern Lights. And we'll make sure we're in the top automation channel. We'll paste, and we'll drag across that. Shift Command M. Command C, tab, put it in here, and we'll call this wanna be in it. Okay. And so you'll see, um, I haven't set the tempo for this one, and I haven't really set this up the way I want to, but here you go. Wanna be in it, lights are working. I'm sorry, where your heart is, lights are working. Wanna be in it, lights are working. If I needed to uh, recalibrate, for any reason, there's that like thing. And that's that's really it. Um, again, I'll mention um, for that other song, Gold, uh, that, I, that I brought up, I really just had those two static scenes. Um, and so what you can do is you can really have the, um, you can set up your clip with the uh, start and end points, for example, to just run without looping or anything, to just run and stop and basically highlight the next scene. And that, that way, when I'm ready to change scenes, I, I use uh, Keith McMillan's soft step or, or uh, 
one of the one of the Keith McMillan uh, MIDI pedals. And I just step on uh, the play and it loads the next scene right there. So that's another way you can do it without um, just having an entire song going to a click track that you have to sort of make sure that you're playing along to. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, hope this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down there. And uh, yeah, catch you on the road. Bye.